A sculpture of Emil and Adolf Hitler was sold at auction for more than $17 million. The statue depicts Hitler on his knees, begging people to stop comparing him to Donald Trump. <laughs> Fortunately, it was sold to a Jewish man who is about to have the greatest Snapchat of all time. CIA Director General David Petraeus resigned Friday after it was revealed he was having an affair with the woman who wrote his biography, All In. <laughs> Of course, when they first started working on the book, it was called Just the Tip. A French man who calls himself the Snake Man was arrested this week after climbing up the side of a Manhattan high rise. Yep, he climbed right up the side of a high rise. Just like a snake. <laughs> A nurse in New Jersey won a Lay's potato chip contest by creating the new flavor of wasabi ginger, which sounds less like a chip flavor and more like something Joe Biden would accidentally call the Chinese ambassador. After 50 years entertaining children, a fed up Mickey Mouse finally started to eat one this week. <laughs> A shepherd in Germany has discovered a rare geep, which is a sheep-goat hybrid. It's believed to be the first sheep-goat hybrid to be discovered since Kid Rock. <laughs> well, the Grammy Award nominations were announced this week, and it was a lucky day for singer Billy Ray Cyrus. Apparently, he found a $5 bill in a taxi. <laughs> According to a new study of fossils, the act of sex used by humans was pioneered by an ancient armored fish called placoderms about 385 million years ago. But it wasn't perfected until last night by your mama. <laughs> Gia Gia, the world's oldest panda, passed away this week at the age of 38. Gia Gia died after suffering a stroke stroke. <laughs> In an effort to feel smarter than somebody, Dan Quayle this week spoke to 4,000 Amway employees. This weekend is New York Comic Con, the annual gathering of people whose comic books and genitals are kept in mint condition. Actor Charlie Sheen is reportedly engaged to model Donna Peel. Friends of Sheen say they knew Sheen was serious when he took Donna home to meet the hookers. Mexican officials are upset with Pope Francis after he said he was concerned about the increased drug trafficking in his native Argentina, calling it Mexicanization. Pope Francis later apologized, calling his comment, quote, as dumb as a Guatemalan. <laughs> It was reported that Al Pacino is in talks to play the late Penn State football coach Joe Paterno in a new movie. This will be Pacino's second film with the line, Say hello to my little friend. Well, O.J. Simpson's lawyers stopped feuding this week, finally. The dream team, F. Lee Bailey and Robert Shapiro, were able to put aside their differences and express their admiration for each other after O.J. threatened to cut their heads off. <laughs> Actors Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively were married this past weekend. It's nice for a couple to go into a marriage knowing it won't be the worst thing they've ever done together. <laughs> for Orange is the New Black said that working on the show made her realize that she was gay, while watching what goes on in that woman's prison reminded me that I am not. Well, this will get you back. A man in California was attacked by bears after he interrupted them having sex. Even worse, they were having sex with his wife. We, we tried. A new study shows that Beaumont, Texas is the least educated city in the country. 
Oh, man, wait until they don't read about this. <laughs> well, there may be trouble in paradise. Lisa Marie Presley confirmed this week that she and Michael Jackson live in separate residences 50 miles away from each other. Lisa Marie was quoted as saying, I guess being married to a homosexual pedophile wasn't such a great idea after all. <laughs> A new restaurant is opening in Philadelphia that will pay its waiters $13 an hour, but will not allow customers to tip them. The no tipping policy has been in effect for years among its black customers. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's a myth. Black people tip. I tip like 65% of the time. A theme park in England has banned all single people from entering the park to protect children from possible pedophiles. So let this be a lesson to all you pedophiles out there. Start working in teams. <laughs> Kenny G has a Christmas album out this year. Hey, happy birthday, Jesus. Hope you like crap. A new company has begun selling plaques for gravestones that contain QR codes, allowing visitors to the gravesite to scan the code and be sent to a web page about the deceased, though I don't think it's a good idea for the web page to have a comment section. Well, how about this, huh? You know what makes me sick when a society lets a guy like Colin Ferguson live for another 200 years. It's <laughs> ridiculous. It's crazy. The organization planning the Women's March on Washington in January has released the official logo for the event. It's a great logo because, like many feminists, it puts the white women in the front. <laughs> the National Museum of African American History opened on the Washington Mall this week, and it gives a detailed account of black history in the U.S. Or, for a different version of black history, give my grandpa scotch. <laughs> oh, now you on my side. <laughs> George Zimmerman, who shot Trayvon Martin, spoke out for the first time, saying he blames President Obama for inciting racial tensions that erupted after the shooting. At least he thinks it was Obama. It was pretty dark at the time. <laughs> According to a new study, about 15% of two-year-olds in Boston drink as much as four ounces of coffee a day. But Boston kids need that coffee to help them get through their hangovers. A new public bathroom has opened in China that is completely transparent. Oh, sure, but when I use a transparent public bathroom, I'm vandalizing the Apple Store. <laughs> a woman in India has given birth to her first child. Doctors described the birth as, quote, like pulling a penny out of a wad of gum. <laughs> in clown news, uh, <laughs> clowns in Arizona are rallying in support of their profession by organizing a Clown Lives Matter rally. <laughs> Even worse, the clowns are inviting children to the rally, which takes place deep in the woods. <laughs> Judge Ito was interviewed this week by a local TV station in Los Angeles, asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending. Ito said, maybe not, but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife? <laughs> A 66-year-old Florida grandfather this week wrestled an alligator that tried to eat his dog. That story again, an old man and his dog were eaten by an alligator. Well, in a questionable move by the defense team this week, O.J. Simpson demonstrated how to stab two people at the same time. has announced plans to start selling a new version of its classic Bronco SUV in 2020. Hey, just in time for parole. A man in Australia has been bitten by a venomous spider on his penis for the second time in five months. Fool me once, said the guy who had to suck out the poison. 
A California farmer has begun powering his farm using leftover walnut shells. If you're wondering which farm it is, it's the one with no power. <laughs> OJ's pal Al Cowlings now has a 1-900 number. For $2.99 a minute, Cowlings will tell callers that OJ is innocent. And for $3.99 a minute, he'll try to do it without laughing. <laughs> To mark its 75th anniversary, General Mills will abandon its traditional image of Betty Crocker and unveil a new multi-ethnic Betty Crocker, whose likeness will combine the features of 75 different kinds of women. Here she is. An Australian man who ate nothing but potatoes for an entire year has lost more than 100 pounds, no longer needs antidepressants, lowered his cholesterol, and is dead. <laughs> at, this year's, at this year's International Water Tasting Contest, Hamilton, Ohio won for having the best tasting water, while the town with the worst tasting water is Dukeville, Illinois. <laughs> Scientists in Japan have invented underwear for men with a special scent that they claim is irresistible to women. Let me tell you something. If you've got a woman's nose in your crotch, you don't need special underwear. I'll tell you that. A Cheeto that looks like the Gorilla Harambe was sold on eBay for nearly $100,000. The buyer is actually a little like Harambe in that he also deserves to be shot. <laughs> I need your love. You free my mind. I need your love. Yeah, you free my mind. Our top story tonight, following his shocking acquittal two weeks ago, O.J. Simpson vowed never to rest until the real killers of Nicole Brown Simpson are brought to justice. And the manhunt continues. A number of airports around the country are trying to relieve the stress caused by long security lines by hiring clowns to entertain travelers. Because nothing puts you at ease like a clown whispering, have a safe flight. <laughs> this week at the O.J. Simpson trial, the infamous bloody glove was finally introduced into evidence, and O.J. didn't help his case any by blurting out, there it is, I've been looking all over for that thing. This week, China and the U.S. reached a historic agreement to cut carbon emissions. The leader of ISIS may have been killed in an airstrike, and a spacecraft landed on a comet 300 million miles away. But that ass, though. <laughs> Here's an amazing story. Twins born 95 days apart. Even more amazing, they were born to different mothers, and they don't even look alike. <laughs> Sony was hit by another cyber attack this week, which took its PlayStation network offline for hours, giving gamers a chance to finally go outside and get some fresh weed. <laughs> An 83-year-old Wisconsin woman who survived in her broken-down car for eight days on just fruit juice and frost was rescued last week by family and friends, and they gave her a big welcome-home dinner. But in an ironic twist, they unknowingly served up as the main course, fruit juice and frost. <laughs> Jay-Z Penny on Monday announced a new promotion offering kids free haircuts every Sunday, finally answering the age-old question, Mom, are we poor? <laughs> While Premier Magazine's list of the 100 most powerful people in Hollywood hit the newsstands this month, in an odd bit of ranking, Demi Moore was ranked number 28, while her breasts were ranked 20 and 21. So... Scientists say that when people French kiss, they transfer over 80 million bacteria. This according to a recent study conducted on your mama. <laughs> 
In Arkansas, a 25-year-old man has been arrested for going door to door, attempting to trade sticks of dynamite for sex or drugs. <laughs> this disturbing case has people all across the nation asking themselves the same question. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> In a recent interview, Texas Governor Rick Perry said that running for the presidency is not an IQ test. Of course it's not an IQ test, and it's also not a lie detector test, <laughs> or an ethics test, or a foot race. Well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. A New Hampshire man was arrested for child endangerment after he left his twin nine-year-old nephews home alone for days at a time. Said one of the twins, we used to be triplets. <laughs> In Carlsbad, Texas, a tanker truck crashed into a prison bus, injuring 16 inmates. Doctors say it will be at least two weeks before the men are up and around and raping each other again. <laughs> According to an annual ranking by Orkin Pest Control, the places in America with the worst bed bug problems are Chicago, Detroit, and Yamama. According to a survey, 58% of men would have sex with a woman they disliked. Although, while having sex, they would really, really like them, and then afterwards, not like them again. Firefighters in Florida rescued a seven-foot boa constrictor from a house fire. Oh, crap, said a rabbit holding a gas can. <laughs> Let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet is drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill and mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand When Simpson trial juror Gina Rodborough returned home this week Her little girls were delighted to have her back And no wonder, she lets them get away with murder And uh, finally, physicist Stephen Hawking, who is wheelchair bound and speaks through a computer voice box, was married earlier this month for a second time. You guys out there who can't get a date, start feeling sorry for yourselves now. The parents of a six-year-old Indonesian boy who is addicted to smoking say that he is cut down to five cigarettes a day. Now, that's very impressive, considering how stressed he's been at the sneaker factory. Oh! 
Well, this week, Attorney General Janet Reno charged software giant Microsoft with trying to monopolize access to the Internet and has asked a federal court to fine the company a million dollars per day. Analysts say that at this rate, Microsoft CEO Bill Gates will be broke just 10 years after the Earth crashes into the sun. <laughs> so, Nevada's famed Moonlight Bunny Ranch brothel is searching for a quality control tester who will be paid to have sex with prostitutes and rate their performance. The prostitutes will be graded on a scale from F to don't F. 